The Camel's Hump by Rudyard Kipling. So this is a poem based on humor. Let's first of all uh, see what's the meaning of the title. A hump is a fleshy protuberance or something that has come up. Right? So the camel's hump, the whole poem is about a camel and his ugly hump. But this is not just a poem about a camel or a hump. It gives a very symbolic and an indirect meaning to you as well. The camel's hump is an ugly lump, a piece of moss, which well you may see at the zoo, you see camels everywhere in the zoo, a common sight. But uglier yet is the hump we get from having too little to do. But actually, we humans can also get a hump. How? Let's see how we can get it. But if we get it, that's quite ugly. Do you think the writer is uh, directly talking about the physical hump? Not really. He's talking about a metaphorical hump. What is that? So kids and grown-ups, you know, when we don't have enough things to do, or in other words, when we are lazy, what happens to us? We become very, very lazy and inefficient. Then we get the hump. And what sort of a hump is that? Camellius, like a camel, is a coin term, made up term. And that hump is so ugly, uglier than a real camel's hump. And it's black and blue in uh, color. And what are the examples we get humps? For an example, when we climb out of our beds with a kind of frowsly head, we are like, you know, very fussy, you know, we are dazed, right? And a snarly, yarly voice, you know, very, you know, like... Uh, telling lively or certain things, just get out of the bed in a lazy way. We shiver or tremble, we scowl or like, you know, we show displeasure, we grunt or we murmur and we growl or mutter, right? Why do we do all those things? When we are too lazy, when we are not happy with what we have got. So sometimes we complain about our bath, about our boots, about our toys, about the sleeping time, etc. And there ought to be a corner. When we are angry, when we are lazy, what do we do? Most of us go to a corner. When we get the harm, the camellia's harm, Right, so there is repetition. The writer says, this. so when you're lazy, when you don't have anything to do, when you're angry and in a corner, what happens? You are like a camel having a hump. That means very ugly, behavior is ugly. The cure for this ill is not to sit still or frown or frown at you or frown with a book by the fire. So the cure for such a problem is not to just frown and stay in the side. But to take a large hoe and shovel, take some tools, you know, like farming tools, and dig, dig till you gently perspire. Work hard until you sweat. So the only solution for laziness is not just to sit in a corner, but just to, you know, start working. And then you will find that the sun and the wind and the digging of the garden, digging or the spirit, right? They will help you to lift the hump, the horrible, very bad hump, the hump that is black and blue. So when you go out and play, not only the nature like the sun and the wind, but also the ditching. Now, hope that you all can re remember the legend or the story behind this poem. A long time ago, right, that's a common fable, common story, a kind of a folklore actually, right? Uh, so when the animals started to work for the farmer, for the human, all the animals were not the camel. So the lazy camel was given the uh, punishment by the teaching of the desert, that is to have an ugly harm so that he has to bend and go, right? Okay, so let's see the last stanza. I get it as well as you. So not only, you know, older ones or younger ones, I mean, anyone can get an ugly hump. If I haven't enough to do, if you don't have enough things to do, then we all will be lazy like camels. We all get the hump, camellia's hump, kiddies and grown-ups too. So this looks like a very, very simple poem, right? 
it's a very simple poem about the camel having a hump and that camel and the hump are compared to a lazy human who is also you know uh, showing very uh, lazy very ugly and so when we think about the sense of the poem this poem can be clarified or described as a metaphorical poem embedded with a moral or a lesson this poem also evokes our memories of the tale how the camel got its big hump the camel's hump is defined as an ugly hump in the poem and from the very beginning of the poem it is suggested that not only camels but also humans can get humps right the main reasons for the human hump are laziness anger lack of work to do and also complaining mood and themes wise the poem is based on humor human weaknesses also because throughout the poem the writer indirectly laughs at the ugliness of the camel laughs at the laziness of the human so humor is used to you know show the human weaknesses and also it's it's shown that as a theme and a message it's very important to be efficient and throughout the poem we see simple language rhythm lengthening of the vowel did you see that that's quite interesting you do right like that and then visual images the use or the reference of you know folklore or stories right so after going through this poem you can also try answering this question laziness is a sickness and it can be cured easily how does the poet highlight this idea through the poem so what are the keywords laziness sickness can be cured how right how you can also highlight poet highlight so basically laziness sickness can be cured how poet highlight right throughout the poem we see that the writer says that being lazy is not something natural you know it's something that we purposefully get we can stop it we can stop having it so the writer very nicely explains you know a camel Uh, it's very ugly because of the ugly lump because of the ugly hump and people also are compared or can be compared to a camel because of their behavior if they are lazy if they are in a corner if they are inefficient then is laziness that we find and it's not a natural thing it's like a sickness for a sickness there is a cure like that right in the fifth stanza the writer says the cure for this ill so the illness or the sickness of the humans called laziness can be cured how don't frown but take a large hoe and a shovel and dig till you gently perspire in other words work efficiently so that is the main idea but in order to bring in that main idea the writer uses as we discussed earlier simple language rhythm lengthening of the vowel visual images even you know narrative small small incidents examples from adults small children from the camel comparison right so all these are very nicely used by the writer right so you can think about those and answer your question within 30 minutes